Okay, welcome back guys. Now so far we have seen the selector which is nothing but sort of a custom HTML tag that we are going to use to represent this component. And we've also come across this template which is nothing but our HTML code. Now in this video, let us learn how to style this HTML code for a component. The funny thing though, I need to mention that so far I had this href as styles.css instead of style.css, which is the actual file name. Now I've corrected it and hence you might see a different format of Hello World and Jodemont tutorials. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now that is cleared, let's go back to our tutorials component. Now let's say we create, let's, let me change it to backticks so we can have multiple lines. And let's create another line of HTML. So let's create an H4 tag, close it, H4. And we can have it as header four from tutorials component. All right, so let's see how to style this H4 tag or just apply any style in general. Now. For that, we are going to be using something called as styles configuration. So you specify the keyword styles followed by an array of styles. So again, let's have backticks followed by h4, which is going to be, let's say, color red. Now when you save this, and let's see there you go we have header 4 from tutorials component in red color so what we have done is created a new metadata or configuration called styles and we have specified a color red for this h4 tag now what you need to keep in mind is that styles are confined to a component so if we have multiple components then if we have styles for each component then that style is restricted to that particular component. Let me show you with an example what I mean. So let's go back to our app component and create a selector. I mean, sorry, let's create a metadata or configuration, which is styles. And this is going to have an H4 backticks, sorry, backticks. And then the H4 again, let's have the color which is going to be blue and within our template let's create our h4 tag h4 close h4 and let's say header 4 from app component now let's go to our style.css and here let's create h4 and color orange and within our index.html let's create a new tag h4 close the h4 and let's have it as header 4 from index so what we have basically done is created some text header 4 from each of the components, the app component, we have created a header. From the tutorials component, we have created a header. And our main index.html, we have created a header for. Now, when we save all this and go to our browser, we see that the header for from index is an orange color, which we, which we specified in our style.css, h4 color orange. We have our header for from app component in blue color. If you go to our app component, we have specified h4 with color blue. And finally, we have header 4 from tutorials component in red color. If we go to our tutorials component, we have specified red. So the main focus or the, or the main thing to take away is that styles are restricted to a component. They do not bleed out to the HTML file or the style from the HTML file does not get into the component. So that's pretty much it about styles. 
So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.